new venue for me, don't know anything about it. I'm going to have to change a few things around, play with a few things, see what works, see what doesn't, see if I can string something together. Just putting that attraction in the bag, just making a slight change on the same spot as well it, that I've been chucking to before, it's finally gone. Not too bad a fish to be fair. Come to daddy. Yes. Come on. <laughs> well, the move of swims and change of tactics has definitely paid off without a doubt. That's made my three hour journey well worth it. Look at it, big orange belly. Well, here we are, we've got the rods out. New venue for me today. I've never been here before. Don't know a lot about the place, but I've pulled in the gate at Trent View Fisheries. And I'll tell you what, it looks absolutely beautiful. Nice bit of open water. Literally, as I've pulled in, I've seen a few fish showing all over the place, which is pretty good. And I've got 48 hours at my disposal. So new venue for me. Don't know anything about it. Just gonna basically try and find a few fish, get on them and just see what I've got to do to catch a bite. I'm gonna to have to change a few things around, play with a few things, see what works, see what doesn't, see if I can string something together. But I got down here this morning. I've been here just over an hour and a half now. Got breakfast from the cafe, most important thing to start with. Whilst that was cooking, I've had a good look round and I've seen quite a few fish showing, to be honest. They're quite well spread all over the lake. Um, the only thing I have heard about the venues is quite deep and there's a shallow bay at one of the ends and I quite like the sound of the shallow bay and we've walked around there. I have seen quite a few fish in open water in the deep water, but where they're showing, all the swims are taken. So I've come round to the edge of the shallows and I've just seen one in the shallow show now. And I've seen, a, and again, and I've seen a few fish here. So this is where I've set up. I'm told it's a little bit shallower. Um, decided to quickly chuck three bags out. It's all, whenever I turn up to a venue for the first time without knowing anything, if I can see a few fish, the first port of call is always just to chuck a couple of solid bags out there and you never know i'm going to give it an hour if i get a bite then it's a right old result great start to the trip if i don't then i'm going to spend a bit of time plumbing around trying to find a spot trying to find some depths so when i chuck the three solid bags out the first thing i notice is the first one off the point of there's a no fishing bank along here the first one that landed was quite deep the second one a bit further to the right seemed a bit shallower and i chucked one a little bit further along the reed line and that seemed fairly shallow. So I can see straight away from free cast that I've got quite a bit of depth variation in the swim. So we'll explore it a little bit later with a marker float and we'll see what happens. So I've had the solid bags out there for probably about an hour, hour and a half now. That quick bite didn't materialize. I haven't seen, well, I've seen a couple of fish since, but not anywhere near where, where or not anywhere near my swim. So. Decided now was a good chance to um, just chuck a marker out and have a look at the depths. I mean, I've been told the main body of the lake to my left is, is really deep. I've had my first chuck with a marker float up to the non-fishing bank, about a couple of rod lengths off and I've got eight foot, which actually for me, I feel like that's a really good depth to fish in initially. Found a nice clear spot first cast. Um, it's eight foot, it just shelves down to nine foot and then it comes back up to eight foot and goes really weedy. So that sort of eight, eight and a half foot, where it's nice and clear initially, first cast seems to be like a good spot, but I'm gonna try a little bit further into the bay, see how much shallower it goes, a little bit further out of the bay, just to see what depths we got. But I feel like if, if I can get on fish in shallower water, I think they'll be so much easier to catch from experience on other lakes. Of course, you don't know that, but if I know the depths to start with, if I can get some bites, I'll figure out which, which depths are working best and we can go from there and see if we can figure it out and capitalise and put some fish on the bank. One, two, three. 
straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven foot. Right, so I've got eleven, eight, seven. Eight's the one. Nice and clean. Okay, up over that weed bed. I've had four or five chucks with a marker rod and uh, plumb the depths. Further right you go, it comes up to about six or seven foot further into the bay. Um, found a lovely spot, I think it's a lovely spot at eight foot, and then the further out you, the bay you come, it's sort of 10, 11 foot. But casting right in tight to the far margin, I've got six foot, it slopes down pretty quickly to eight foot, and then it stays pretty flat coming back to sort of eight and a half foot. So I'm going to hope to fish at the bottom of the slope just where it reaches eight foot. I don't want to be on the slope because when I put the bait in it's all going to roll down the slope so I want to be right at the bottom of the slope where it's nice and flat. At the moment it feels feels quite clean. Um, I've only chucked just a normal lead out on a marker float to start with so it feels clean with that but for me I always check with a little grappler lead because that's going to give me a lot more information if there's any little strands of weed or seal or debris on it that's going to pick it up and tell me exactly what's on the bottom as opposed to a normal lead that isn't. So I'm just gonna take all the marker float off and uh, literally just cast that bare lead to the spot now and just double check that the spot is as clean as I think it is. Gone a bit quiet really i think uh, quite a few fish have stopped showing now not seeing much at all i've not seen anything in front of me since i've got the bags out earlier um, gave the bags solid bags a couple of hours out there never had a bite didn't see anything show so decided to have a lead around found uh, found a really nice spot out there the depth varies quite a bit it gets shallower the further into the bay round to the right you go and the tighter to the far bank you go found a nice spot in eight foot of water which, which I really fancy really nice and clean um, at the bottom of a slope basically so you couldn't ask for anywhere more textbook a little bit of gravel on top um, sort of perfect spot really so I've decided to put quite a bit of bait out I've put about I don't know 30, 30 big spawns out probably um, nice mixture of my old faithful life system that I'd, I'd had glugged up and powdered up full of attraction which I've done yesterday before I got here to make it nice and smelly mixed it with a few pellets and uh, yes yeah, so spotted it out on the spot just gonna put three rods out over that spot for now I may um, if I start seeing fish to the right or to the left I may end up uh, reverting back to a solid bag to chuck it around see if I can get a bite but for now three on the spot I'm going in with um, all three on Ronnie rigs, love the Ronnie rig, just catches me so many fish, got total confidence in them. So I've got one on a live system pop-up, 
and the other two rods I've gone for my old favourite yellow northern specials now little 12 miller they never ever fail to catch me fish so mega confident in that they smell beautiful nice and bright again on the Ronnie rig little bit of putty so that it makes them nice and slow sinking just over the bait and that is going to get the fish homing in on that hook bait because I've got so many fish on that and I've got loads of confidence in it so two of those are going to go out on the spot and one live system pop up and we'll uh, see if we can get a bite. So we're just coming into the evening of the first night and um, it's all been a bit quiet really. It went a bit dead this afternoon, not a lot of fish showing, just the odd one every now and again. But to be honest, I've seen nothing in my swim at this moment in time. Don't get me wrong, I've seen a couple not a million of miles away. They're in front of the swim to my left and I've seen a couple, a couple of swims down to my right. So there's got to be a few fish about. But I've got the trap set, three rods out. I've put quite a bit of bait in and uh, I'm happy with the spot. I know the rods are fishing and I feel like if a few fish get in front of me, there's, there's a very good chance. And if I've got fish either side of me, hopefully they'll come into the bait and hopefully we'll get a couple of bites. But with it being shallower water, I think it could be a daytime swim, but nothing's happened today. Let's fingers crossed and see what happens tonight and tomorrow. Well, I went into the evening feeling pretty confident, to be honest. I hadn't seen a lot, but it just felt good and felt right for it. We had a big, massive thunderstorm come through at about half past 12, I think it come through. I just got woken up by an almighty roar. Popped the head out and it just, just as the heavens started to open, we had a massive electrical lightning display, just flashes, forks everywhere for about two hours. It was mental. And that finished about three o'clock in the morning. I got back into bed. Um, was hoping to be woken up by one toner at first light but it didn't quite happen um, got up first light it was really misty you know one of those magical mornings that it's just completely flat mist rolling across the surface there was a lot of fish showing further down the lake right in open water in the deep water loads of them for the first probably two hours of first light never saw anything in front of me unfortunately um, Stayed a bit patient, uh, switched one rod around, um, tried a little bit closer to the far bank, further along the bank, tried a few different things just to see if I could nick a bite, but just nothing materialised. I've had a quick walk around the far side a couple of times this morning, and um, I've seen a few fish further along in front of a couple of empty swims that are further down, uh, further into the bay. It's quite a bit shallower by the looks of it. You can see the bottom in certain areas, and there's just a few fish mooching about. So. I've sat on my hands long enough and I've decided to up sticks and move. I'm gonna have a slight change of tactics uh, this time round. I put quite a lot of bait in last night and I don't think it's the one. There has been a couple of fish caught on the lake, not loads, but there has been a couple. And one thing I've noticed is all the fish have come to people just flicking a bait or driving a bait boat out with a small handful of bait on each. So it, I haven't seen anyone catch, anyone who's put in any bait, any quantities of bait hasn't had a bite that I've seen. So. I'm going to have a slight rethink, slight change of tactics. Um, I'm not going to put any bait out to start with. I'm just going to dot a few bags around. It's quite shallow, so the last thing I want to do is start plumbing around, 
and chucking a marker float out, finding a spot, spotting it up, because I know there's a few fish out there, not loads, but there's a few out there, it's shallower water. So I'm just gonna flick some bags out for a few hours this afternoon, see what happens. I may put a couple of spots out later, but um, I'm just gonna try the bags to start with, see if I can nick a bite or two. Well, it's been a tough old day after the move of swims. I've seen a couple of fish show and I've had a slight change of tactics. Solid bag I've chucked out just short, probably a rod length and a half short of the far bank. And I've injected it with bloodworm liquid, really loaded it up just to give it a bit more smell. Had a rechuck on it and literally it's gone within 10 minutes. So just putting that attraction in the bag, just making a slight change on the same spot as well that I've been chucking to before. It's finally gone and we've uh, worked hard for this one and we've finally got one in. So let's hope it ends up in the back of the net. This is proper dodgy. I've got so much weed matted on the line. I can't get it to slide down, but fish, I, can, I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, two-tone mirror. This is not the best scenario. <laughs> Just need that line to slide down, that weed to slide down the line, but it's not happening. Making it very hard to get the fish's head up. Oh, nearly. Go on, sir. <sighs> In she goes. Oh, boy, I'm glad to get that one in the net. That's been a lot of hard work gone into that. Nice looking fish as well, nice scaly one, nice two-tone mirror. Not a monster, probably typical of uh, the lake stock that I've seen of the few fish that I've seen on the bank uh, the last couple of days. I'll tell you what, I'm pleased to get that one in the bag. Hopefully I've figured something out, that bit of attraction inside the solid bag. Hopefully that's enough to move on and get me a couple more bites. Let's have a go. Well, there we go, finally, 28 hours in. A lot of hard work has gone into this one and we finally got one. And it's a little beauty. So, moving swims, ringing the changes, and finally we've got one. So, let's uh, change a couple of rods onto what I've just caught it on and see if we can catch a couple more. Go on, Sam. Darkness is just descending upon us on the, the second evening and uh, luckily managed to catch my first fish about an hour ago, so absolutely buzzing with that. It's been a real tough day, I'm not going to lie, a tough, or tough 28 hours. I've tried a lot of tricks and not managed to get the bite, but ultimately in the swim I was in before, I don't feel like there was any fish in there, didn't see any fish showing. I've moved swims um, this afternoon and I feel like I'm on a few now. I don't think there's loads out here because there's a lot of fish showing in the main body of the lake and it's quite busy down that sort of direction so I couldn't get a swim up there. But there are a few here. I've seen three or four show this afternoon since I've been in here so I know there's a couple of fish about and a bite to be had. Um, rung the changes throughout the day, tried a few different bits and in the end it was um, a really stinky glugged up solid bag that went. 
Now I like to use frozen bloodworm a lot in my mixes, but frozen bloodworm is not PVA friendly. So I've injected it with the liquid bloodworm compound. Now that's a PVA friendly liquid. Um, as I said, I prefer to use the frozen where I can because it's just pure, raw, liquid, like pure bloodworm that just absolutely stinks and just the, the most natural thing you could ever get in the lake. But um, it's not PVA friendly. So the, the PVA friendly liquid bloodworm compound, that is the one. I've injected that into the solid bag and I've had a pretty quick bite off of it. So I've put two, I've injected two bags with it now. Uh, I've kept one on something a little bit different just to just to make sure that I'm covering all my options. But we're going into the night time now. Fingers crossed I can get another bite. Well, as they say, like the buses. The second rod, which I changed over to the gloved up solid bag, I've just chucked it out and it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes again. First time I chucked one out, I had one within 10 minutes, and then this is uh, the second rod that I've chucked out on it. I can't believe it. You know, I've been here 28 hours trying everything to get a bite, and then to have two both within 10 minutes of casting out. Quite a lot of weed about this one's just dived into the weed, so let's try and concentrate and see if we can get him in the back of the net. I'm getting in. I ain't messing about. Let's get in the drink. Come to daddy and please be a big fat mirror cup. Or common, I'll take a big fat common. Yeah, she's mine. <laughs> well, that's more like it. Now we're rocking. It's taken me a while, but we finally started getting amongst them. The second one, beautiful, beautiful common, a little bit bigger as well, got a bit of weight to it. Pristine off the solid bag, fought quite well underneath the tip. Quite a lot of weed about silkweed that keeps getting clinging up the line, and uh, that mats everything up and takes quite a while to get these fish in. But pleased to have got this one in the back of the net, and I just feel like I'm making progress now, you know. Didn't have a clue before I got here, had to work hard to figure out what was going to work, got some at work in. Fingers crossed I can capitalise and catch a few more before the end of the trip. Well, as you can tell from the beaming smile on my face, I've got a couple of carp. Well, I've had more than a couple, actually. Found out yesterday evening that the bags were going to be the one glugging them right up with a stinky liquid. And uh, yeah, I've made the most of it last night. I had my first bite, oh, maybe three o'clock in the morning in the pouring rain. And then in the last hour, I've just had another couple more. So um, I'm pretty much buzzing this morning. But that's what I love about day ticket lakes, you know, you turn up, I've had no preconceived ideas, didn't know anything really about the lake. I didn't go punishing loads of people on how to fish it. I'd hate to think that I'd come to a lake and fish away because someone's told me to fish it. The biggest thing that I most enjoy about fishing is just figuring it out for myself. And when I grew up, there was no social media, no videos. And that's how I learned, you know, by trial and error, by trying to figure things out, keeping your eyes on the water, seeing what's going on, changing a few things. And that's exactly what I've done, you know. I figured out that um, I've tried all sorts throughout the trip and they, you could just see that they just weren't having it on bait. You know, they're, they're not really act, 
that active. I could figure out that they weren't feeding and um, the, a real stinky solid bag, just one mouthful of bait was gonna be an, enough to get a bite. And in the end, it took me a while, don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have caught quicker, but once I'd figured out that that solid bag, really stinky, was gonna be the one, I've got all three on them now, and um, started catching. So yeah, I've had three fish sit in the last few hours, and uh, hopefully there'll be a few more to come. Well, wow, there's a nice chunky mirror from one of my bites this morning. She'll do nicely, won't she? I've got a nice common in the net as well, so let's get this one back and have a look at that. Well, there we go, look at that for a beauty. Proper long common, no wonder it beat me up this morning, just as the sun was coming up. And um, yeah, that's the fifth fish of the trip for me since uh, yesterday evening, so I've definitely got it working now. And uh, hopefully there'll be a few more to come. Just gotta figure out how to catch them and then capitalize on it, that's the name of the game. Well, the mover swims in change of tactics is definitely paid off without a doubt you know looking back now the, the way the fish are they definitely don't want to feed over a big bed of bait and a solid bag to me just seems like the perfect little package of bait I think I feel like the odd fish might have dropped down and just picked up a mouthful and in that scenario when it is fishing a bit hard a solid bag is perfect because when the fish comes down one mouthful is enough to get that bite so I thought now that I've been catching a few, it'll be a good opportunity to take a closer look at the solid bag setup that I use. So first of all, as with all solid bags, I fish a nice short hook link, supple hook link, sort of three and a half inches long. Um, Northern Special Wafter. I always want the hook bait to be quite slow sinking and balanced so that when a fish comes in to suck up all the pellets, that hook bait is, is sort of like neutrally buoyant so that when the fish uses them out of suction, it sucks the hook bait up. Sometimes I quite often think they're sucking in the pellet and the hook bait is just shooting up into their mouth even though they're not specifically targeting the hook bait. But also on the other hand, that yellow hook bait is like a pinpoint for the fish to home in on at times. So whichever way, whether they're homing in on the hook bait or homing in on the pellet, that balanced hook bait is the one to get you that bite. As, as I've always done with my pellets inside the mix, I always use a big mixture. So I've got all sorts of goodies in there. Bloodworm pellets, I've got tuna pellets, loads of two meal pellets, salmon fry crumb, a right old mixture really. I always like to have different levels of attractors in the mix, lots of little pellets in there to break it up. And I always, when I'm trying to chuck them long range, I always keep it sort of two mil or under. So as you can see, I've got loads of different types of pellets in there, all nice and small, which allows me to keep the solid bag compact. One thing that has definitely made a difference on this trip is I've been injecting it with the bloodworm compound. Now we're coming into autumn now and I've always said and I've always done well with bloodworm. So just, just that like added attraction, just injected into the bag, just gives it something that just leaks off, you know, a little bit of bloodworm in there and that seems to have been doing the trick. Too bad fish to be fair. Go on, she's in the net.
how about that then? That's made my three hour journey well worth it. Look at it, big orange belly, it's white underneath. Oh, lovely, well pleased to have caught that carp. <laughs> well just started to pack up and uh, the rod's ripped off again middle rod twitchy little take just pulled up tight let out a few bleeps and uh, we've got one more trip one more fish to end the trip another little beauty and I have to say what a fishery this is Trent Brew Fisheries it's quite a long journey for me down here three hours but it's well worth it. I've really enjoyed it. The fishery's lovely, big old lake, just how I like it, full of fish, loads of real nice scaly ones, mixture of commons, mirrors, bit of everything in here, to be honest. And they go up to sort of over 40 pounds. So I'll definitely be coming back here at some point. It's a nice path all the way around it. So you can drive behind your peg. That's always a winner. And um, just really maintain, nice and clean, no litter, um, lovely venue. I'll definitely be coming back in the future.